Before this video starts, I just want to apologize for the lack of animatics these days. I know I haven't been posting much. I just haven't had much motivation to make them, and maybe I've been also busy working on a little something that will be announced in June. But enough of that. You don't need to know that. That's fine. But yeah, anyways, now onto the speed paint that you all clicked on this video for. I've been wanting to do this challenge for a while now, but I've always been intimidated by it. Replicating art styles was never something I've done before, so this was definitely a new experience. With each art style, I will be doing a brief commentary to point out some unique features of their art and my thoughts while drawing them. So first up is my style, which I can say is definitely anime inspired, but these days it's been leaning towards cartooniness. Um, so again, I don't know how accurate this drawing is, but um, here it is. For this challenge, I decided to do Penny because you all love her for some reason, and she's also the easiest character for me to draw, so there's that. So the first art style that I'll be trying that is not mine is M Doodles. And of course all these artists that I'll be trying their art styles for will be linked in the description, so I highly recommend that you all check them out. They are all super talented. So anyway, what sticks out to me about M Doodles art style is how vivid it is. They definitely know their way around color because they found a way to make their color saturated but not overbearing, if that makes sense. I value simple art styles a lot, so this one was a lot of fun to draw in. This art style belongs to Milky Pop over on Instagram. Their style is a simple, bubbly spin on the anime look, and it's super cute. <laughs> they always add small aesthetic touches to their art pieces, which I find interesting and unique. Uh, so I made sure to include those in the finished product, so yeah, hopefully I did this one justice. Next is half of a PNG's art style. When doing this challenge, I found one of the hardest things to do is matching brush settings and textures. Uh, I believe Halfway uses paint rule Psy, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, so I tried my best to match the more painterly brushes they use. This ended up being the art style that came to me the most naturally, which is interesting. Uh, so maybe it's the looseness to it? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, the sketchiness in their art, along with their softer colors, complement each other really well, and I love it. Artist is Sierra Lynn. Sierra Lynn? Sierra Lynn? <laughs> this 
video is just gonna be me mispronouncing artists' names. Oh god. Okay, so anyway, uh, their art style is definitely on the more cartoony side, and I adore that a lot. Uh, what stands out to me with their art is their ability to draw clear expressions. Uh, they push emotion very well in their faces and poses, and I aspire to do that to their degree. Uh, I made Penny a nervous wreck in this one to A, push the expression, and B, because that's what she is, a nervous wreck. The next style I will be attempting is Pop Rocks and Babies. Hopefully I said that right. You can probably notice that I'm using a different art program here, and that's because I believe this artist uses Procreate. And I had access to it, so I thought, why not? One thing I noticed while drawing this is the small geometric elements in their style, like in the eyes. The coloring uses softer tones or more textured look to it. Um, but in the end, I don't know if I was able to achieve that, but I thought this drawing came out kind of cute. For this next style, I ended up using Procreate as well. Uh, the artist Milky Tomato has a very stylized way of drawing, so not gonna lie, I was a little scared to draw this one. Uh, I didn't want to mess it up. The art manages to be both vivid and pastel at the same time, which I didn't even know that was possible. Uh, what stands out to me the most in their art is the line art. Its pencil-like texture and brightness always makes their drawings pop. This art style belongs to the one and only Lala Jamesy. This style was a lot of fun to draw in, especially with the hair because... Luffy. One thing about this art style that I found out while drawing this was how round it is, which is something I never noticed before. Their stylization in the faces is really nice, and it ended up being my favorite thing to draw. One thing that I always found interesting about their art is their use of lighting. I've always been the type to use dramatic lighting in drawings, no matter how much. Uh, but Lala manages to use lighting in both dramatic and subtle ways, which always inspires me. Up next is Noro. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce all the part of their username. Their art is another unique spin on the anime style, so I was excited to try this one. Their art, like half was, has a sketchy look for the line art, which made the process a lot more down to earth. Noro uses a mix of harsh and light shading, which I think gives their art a nice contrast. They sometimes add small holographic overlays to their pieces, so I made sure to include that in the finished drawing. Thank you. 
Last but not least, Clavy. This style is another more anime-inspired one, but what stands out to me about the art is the amount of balance it has. The line art is relatively simple, along with their shading, which makes their art very unified. I think balance in art is a very important thing, and they execute it beautifully. Another thing I noticed while drawing this was the common theme of purple shading throughout the character. It's something you wouldn't notice about someone's art until you actually attempt it yourself. Though, honestly, I don't know how well this ended up matching with the art, but I tried my best. And there you have it! Here's the finished product to this challenge! God, this took so long! I know this is a different video than usual, but animatic should resume soon. Thank you for being patient! And again, please check out all these artists. Uh, links to their medias will be provided in the description, so please, please check them out! And thanks for watching! <laughs>